These two graphs right here, they've caused a little bit of controversy, and that's because hypertrophy and strength seem to follow different dose response patterns based on our recent meta-analysis. However, it's worth taking a step back and realizing a crucial point here that's being overlooked. Sure, strength gains have much stronger diminishing returns. In fact, additional incremental strength gains are smaller than the typical research error once you get to about five to 10 sets per week. And this is compared to that same point occurring at about 30 sets per muscle group per week for muscle hypertrophy. But here's the thing, strength gains are still occurring even with high volumes. So while strength gains probably don't tell you everything about hypertrophy, you can still look at it in a binary sense. So you want to ensure that strength gains are present over a long period of time, but given strength is so multifactorial, don't try to assess small differences in the magnitude of strength gains in an attempt to assess your muscle growth. Now, we have a lot more to say on this. Many basic things have been overlooked in this discussion. So stay tuned for more on this and be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel or to our podcast on your podcast player of choice for some more long form content on this. And be sure to follow along for more training insights without the hype.